hello everybody here we are going to talk about the checkpoints in uft um checkpoint is very important topic sometime uh, in you will face this question in the interview like what are the checkpoints how will you use this how will you insert the checkpoints in a script so uh, i'll tell you like checkpoints are nothing but the verification points um where you store some data into your script or object repository and uh, you will verify is those properties expected properties with the help of checkpoints and uh, you will check those expected properties with the runtime object properties if it matches it will pass otherwise it will give the fail result so uh, where you will access the checkpoints so let's see uh, if you go to the design tabs inside the design tabs you will find the option called checkpoints if you can observe here uh, like existing checkpoint text checkpoint standard checkpoints few checkpoints are there but these are disabled so how will make it enabled let's see so to make it enable you have to be in the recording mode so and the application where we are going to work is uh, will take one of the sample application in uft itself so if you type gui into that you will see flight gui like this is the application which uft provides a sample application so it's a default username and password is its username is john and the password is hp itself so what operation we have performed i have already recorded few steps i'll tell you what steps i have recorded i have logged in into my flight sorry oh it looks for capital hp okay so uh, if you select the flight i have selected the flight like from where we want to travel to what destination i have selected some flight here then i I have given some date and find flight. So the same operations are performed here itself. In the end, we are clicking on the find flight itself. So you will be able to see all the objects here in the object repository, whatever you have recorded, the operation which you have recorded. And yes, now suppose if you want to verify the date which you entered during the recording time. that was 30th july 2015 so if i want to insert a checkpoint on this date so how will i do this so uh, you need to and first of all yeah uh, the before that i would like to talk about the enabling the checkpoint like how do you do that i said you should be in recording mode when you will go to recording mode and you go here and check these all checkpoints will be in enable enable mode you can see that so basically you should be in recording mode you should be in recording mode when you are inserting checkpoints and another way to insert the checkpoint is like you have recorded the steps and go to the particular step wherever you want to insert the checkpoint click on that step right click on that step and you will see insert standard checkpoint click on this it will open checkpoint properties it will show you all the properties captured for the particular object as you can see here like date dev name dev name path enabled these are the these uh, are the properties for that particular date itself so if we configure the value for this we can see there are two types of uh, values constant and parameters if you select constant this 30th july will be hard coded into your script so the better way to use is parameterization so if you want to parameterize your value you need to select this parameter option and you can give your user defined name as well whatever name you want to give it give it so this is the parameter types like it will show you and you can choose the name as per your convenience destination date we will select the global sheet only we are not selecting current sheet 
click ok again click ok so if you will observe carefully it has added the destination sheet into the data table and into the global data table so and observe once more it has added this checkpoint checkpoint date picker it has added this checkpoint before that step so what we'll do we will take this step we'll cut the step from here and we will paste it after this after this statement after entering the date because you you will verify the enter date is correct or not you will the checkpoint should be after this step only so if i run it now my application should be open if i run it now it's passed if you, if you will expand it all go to the checkpoint date picker my checkpoint is passed it shows true so let's check the negative scenario as well suppose the value which i'm giving is not the correct one if i instead of 30 if i make it 29 or something else i make it 29 let's check the execution now so expected it should fail like it is entering 30 but my expected value is 29 so 29 is my expected value and 30 will be my actual value so when expected value does not match with the actual value so expected result should be failed let's run it oh oh i should close it and i should open it again it is expecting the login window So if you can observe on the 10th record, it is trying to verify the expected value with the actual value. It waited for 20 minutes, which is the by default wait time for the QTP. And as you can see here, it fails. It will give you, it will highlight into the captured it will capture the data as well it will highlight where the which object is failed and in the date itself if you'll hover over the uh, over the property value it will say actual is 30th july and expected was 29th july so this way your checkpoint is used for verification and likewise we have other checkpoints like checkpoint standard checkpoint text checkpoint like text checkpoint will verify if your text is present or not uh, at the expected location text area bitmap will tell you the visibility some visible part of your application so this way we can use the checkpoint so uh, I think that's enough for the day thank you for watching video bye bye